shit up. Bust down and pick that shit up. Bust it open and pick that shit up. Bust it open and pick that shit up. Hey yo, I've been a bad bitch, Kakiana. And I'm still winning Pakiana. Alright you guys, so just to jump right into the video, I'm going to be using the Adore Off Black to color my wig. Now first things first, I am going to dye my roots first. I'm going to apply the dye directly onto the roots and then I'm going to just do the watercolor method for the rest of the wig. Now normally I wouldn't really do this, but because I was using like basically a jet black color i didn't want to risk staining the lace now i know a lot of people use like the got to be free spray to protect the lace but i've seen a few videos where that spray did not protect the lace so i didn't want to take no chances in staining my lace or anything like that so i'm going to just apply the dye directly onto my lace no onto the roots first and then i'm going to just do the watercolor method for the rest of the wig so once i finished coloring the roots of my hair i boiled some water on my stove now i'm going to be using two pots of water i used one pot of boiling hot water and then the other the second pot was just like sink hot so it's kind of like half and half and also i did add a little bit of salt to the water um i forgot to do this on camera but i did add some salt because i've seen where someone has said like salt helps like the color penetrate the hair and you know stick to the hair better so I did add salt into my water now I'm going to be using two bottles of the Adore off black and I'm just going to pour basically all of that um dye into the water and then I'm just going to take some of that water and like squeeze it into the bottle just to make sure I get all the dye you know we trying to use up all our product okay we don't got no money to waste so I'm making sure I use up all that dye that's in the bottle before I um go in and dunk my wig into the water
Okay, you guys, so now it's time to rinse out my wig. Now, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. This wig was sitting for about 35, 40 minutes. I completely forgot about it. However, you really don't need to um let your wig sit no more than 10 minutes, honestly, especially when you're doing a watercolor method. You don't need to let your wig sit for that long. But my wig, it was chilling for a little bit, but that's fine, you know. It, you know, it's not going to hurt. Now, I'm just rinsing my wig with cold water. And I'm being careful with my lace because, as you um, guys remember, I did actually apply um, dye directly on to the lace. So, I'm being extra careful to make sure that I rinse those roots out first, you know, because I don't want the color to bleed. Because, you know, sometimes even when you're rinsing out um, hair dye and stuff like that, sometimes the color can bleed onto your lace. So, I'm making sure to rinse the roots out really um, good before I actually, you know, start getting rough with the wig or whatever so I'm just making sure I rinse out all those roots and then I'm just going to condition my hair with some silicone mix um, I'm not using any shampoo or anything like that I'm just going to condition my wig and I let my wig sit for about like an hour to an hour and a half and then I let it air dry and that's basically all I did for the coloring process and then of course I went and installed my wig which you guys will see very shortly <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is how the color turns out. It is bomb as hell, and normally I don't like dark hair on me, but I'm really, really, you know, I'm starting to get into this whole, you know, jet black vibe or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.